then. All right, we're back here on Overdrive and look at this. Guess who's coming out? It's El Diablo and Ashley Dunn. The World Heavyweight Champion Ashley Dunn, I might add. Great. Now we have to hear his boring ass. He's a total freaking sellout. He's a no good dirty bastard for what he did to the Hawkins boys. Him and El Diablo, and they can suck my thigh. You know what? Screw gimmick infringement. But that's how I feel about Ashley Dunn and El Diablo. They can suck my thigh. I just hate Ashley Dunn and El Diablo. They both make me sick. Anyways, Ashley Dunn in the ring. He's going to speak his mind about something. Oh yeah, lovely, yeah. Rub it in, Ash. Right on the Hawkins boys. What a chicken shit! Pussy. He ain't gonna challenge cadavers for the NAW. Not even gonna challenge Cadavers, he's not gonna put the world belt up. He will not defend the world title against Cadavers. Oh, wait a minute. Here comes Nathan Elliott, the general manager of Overdrive. Nathan Elliott, I think he has a different opinion. Oh my god! Are you freaking serious? Oh shit! I can't believe what I just heard! And here we go with the Summer Bash rematch. The Petro will be taking on Vincent. And you know, we've been talking about, you know, the lethal lottery. 40 guys and 20 random tag teams. 40 guys, 20 from Overdrive and Aftershock will compete. And will be thrown in a lottery and put in 20 random tag teams. Boy, what a lethal lottery it's going to be. And Vincent has won the last two. Anybody can win the lethal lottery. Anybody can win. Pichu has his sights on main eventing Dynasty this year. He's got to do that. He's got to win the Lethal Lottery. And here's the man who's won the last two Lethal Lotteries and trying to go for the three-peat this year to become a three-time Lethal Lottery winner. Here he is, guys. The 0708 Lethal Lottery winner, Vincent. I'm going to say this, you know. Vincent's been here since the beginning. He's a former world champion and would like to win the Lethal Lottery for the third straight time. Even guys like the Petro, Jack Fox. But Jack Fox's dreams of wanting to go to the Dynasty. He wants to challenge Ashley Dunn and make it better than Hulk Hogan against the Ultimate Warrior. Come on, Jack. You don't even know if you're going to win it or not. It could be your boyfriend El Diablo, or your other boyfriend's Cypher, or LBG. You don't know that yet. I mean, how do you know if Ashley Dunn might lose the World Heavyweight title? Because I think he's going to get buried alive at the Lethal Lottery. And Cadavers will make sure that Ashley Dunn will rest in peace. I hope that happens. I really hope that happens. Anyways, here we go with this matchup. Vincent with form to the back of the Petro's back. I think I botched right there, but whatever. The Petro, oh! Taking it to Vincent. Punches to the face by the Petro, and you know, Vincent and the Petro have had a rivalry for a while. They competed in the first ever BYU Overdrive Episode 1. Well, 
Vincent defended the world title against the Beast Road, Vincent won. And of course, at the Summer Bash, Vincent picks up a big victory over the Petro. And here's the third matchup between these two. Nice hip toss by Vincent. He's a smart wrestler. He may be a light heavyweight, but you know what? He's always took on the heavyweights. One, two, and... Whoa! Great strength by the Petro. What great strength. And yes, Vincent still qualifies for the light heavyweight division. But the Petro doesn't. He's a heavyweight. Actually. I think he's getting fat too. Soon. Little arm bar by the Petro and all, and an elbow drop. Picks up Vincent. Oh! The former EBA heavyweight champion, the Petro. Pick it up, Vincent on his shoulders. Hey, look at this! Oh! Power bomb to the floor! On to Vincent! I wonder why the, the Petro thinks he's still extreme. What's wrong with BYU? Don't they like it here? I am sure if they like it here. Because I'm hearing some rumors that the Andersons are pissed off backstage of losing the World Tag Team titles to the Angels. I don't know what they're pissing, moaning, and bitching about. Whatever. Guess it happens to every wrestler. Vincent with the nice knife edge chops on the Petro's chest. Oh, chop by Vincent. You know, that's what I always like about Vincent. He's a smart... Uh, that's what I like about Vincent. He's a smart wrestler. He's very smart for a little guy. And he's getting older and older. Not little anymore like he used to be in 07 and 08. I mean, he's like a teenager now, I think. Oh, nice crossbody by Vincent and pretty much knocked out the Petro. But yeah, Vincent is still young. He's a young wrestler. In real life, he does really cut really good promos. Look at this nice diving crossbody by Vincent. He had memorable matches with guys like Cypher. He had memorable matches with Big D. He's had memorable matches with... Of course, the Petro, C.J. Hawkins, Christopher Helmsley, Booby, a bunch of guys. Not the whole roster, but he's never wrestled guys like Ashley Dunn and Sean Ashley. Wait, I think he did wrestle Sean Ashley. A three-way matchup, I'm sorry. Duh. I boss right there. <laughs> Anyways, the Petro choking Vincent. Look at that. Come on! What the hell is the Petro's problem? What's it take Vincent out of wrestling? He's like a big guy choking a kid. Would you imagine that? Seriously. Can you imagine a guy like in his 20s choking out a young 13 year old kid? Vincent, I think he is a teenager, I believe. Vincent, uh oh. I think he's getting pissed off. And an R bar by the Pedro. Oh. Get some of the gut. Wait a minute. Oh man! Oh! An Alabama slam by that reject hardcore Holly. And I think Vincent's been knocked out. I think he's out of it. One, two, and three, and the Petro wins it over Vincent on overdrive. The Petro picks up a clean win over Vincent. Man, oh man. I consider that an upset. You may think I'm crazy, but that is an upset. Well, guys, we'll be back here on overdrive.